Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rose Anna. I'm Rose Anna. And today is our mid month book cover inspiration. Uh, it is actually the 15th, I believe. Oh, I don't even have my watch on. It's getting charged. I believe it's the 15th, uh, Tuesday. Yes, it is. So, welcome, welcome. I have been uh, looking for patterns. Oh, and Kitty Cat is back. I've been looking for patterns and I found one and I found some yarn that I'm going to use. So we'll go through that. So our book this month is, and there's two different covers. Yes, there are. Uh, is our book, sorry, is Tuesday with Maury by Mitch Album. And I have to tell you, it was recommended by Kids Mom 928. And if this book was never recommended, I would never have read it and I would be at a loss. This book is amazing. Just amazing. I'm going to say it's not a book about dying. It's a book about life. And, um, oh, the sun's come out and it's totally washing me out right now. It's a book about life and how you want to live your life and how you've lived your life so far. So I'm really, really enjoying the book. Thank you so much for suggesting this book for us. So I have picked some yarns. I am using the uh, cover. I don't know which side it's going to be on uh, that um, has the tannish color background with the red writing. And um, these are the yarns I've picked. I've picked uh, this. I got this from Mary Maxim. It's Naco and it's Mona Lisa and it is so soft. It's almost like a... A simply soft yarn it's so nice and soft and actually the color is turning out not too bad it's a little bit more beigeier than it is turning out um, I'll put some pictures up of the color too so hopefully uh, it will be the right color but it is a number four it's a very light number four and this color is it's just got a color number 98514 and I'm really enjoying using it. I, I'm not, could be the hook I'm using. Uh, I'm not um, splitting the yarn or anything like that. I'm really enjoying it. So that's the Naco Yarn Mona Lisa. And I got this from Mary Maxim. And the other yarn, oh, she has a little yarn ball right here. You want to go get it? Go get it. Go on. Good girl. She loves chasing yarn balls. I try and use cotton just in case. And then this, sorry. And then the second yarn I'm using is uh, soft and shiny. It's a Michaels Loops and Thread. It's a little darker than this because the sun is coming out. There's 311 yards. Oh, sorry. The Naco, I believe, has 172 meters, so almost 200 yards. So 311 yards and um, it's a number four. And again, once again, it's a very light number four. And um, I haven't worked with this in quite a while. So uh, I'll let you know how it goes with my hook. And it recommends a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook as does the uh, Mona Lisa. So the pattern I'm using, I got it on crochet, the free crochet uh, website and the pattern is from Crochet and Create. And I know she has a YouTube channel also, but uh, I just have the pattern from her blog. So this is the pattern right here. It's a very pretty pattern, very simple to do. And I haven't even looked at the pattern after the first uh square I made. I just uh, a following it. So uh, I'm really enjoying this. I'm not sure how I'm going to join it. I'm not sure if I'm going to use any black or blue in it. I may just join it with a continuous join. I haven't decided yet. I'm This is my uh, my template, my first square that I made. So uh, that's uh, what I've been working on there. So it's a little darker. I'm trying to figure out if I pull it back. There we go. That's probably the color there. So it's an open, more open than the squares I normally do. So, uh, but I, I like it. 
and uh, it's very soft and has great wave in it. It's just beautiful. The texture is gorgeous and the pattern is very, very nice. So that's my square. I have made, not quite finished making all my squares for the blanket yet. These are the squares I've made so far. And most of my ends are uh, done. Uh, I'll leave this because I'll just sew it in. Since these are going into a donation, I make sure I knot at the beginning. Like I always start with a slip stitch on and not just pull the yarn through. I try and have a knot at the beginning and the end. That way, if this yarn comes out for any reason, it's not going to untangle because it's a very, very tight knot. I really try and get it tight. That way I don't have to worry in the industrial uh, wash machines that uh, something's going to happen to the blanket. So I've still got a few more, uh, I think eight more squares to make and then I'll be and then put the red on them and then like I said I'm not sure if I'm going to join it in black blue or maybe just join it in the burgundy I think the the two colors together look really nice so I may just keep it this way so I got some great news from uh, one of the uh, seniors homes that I am donating my uh, lap gans to uh, I have a message I have to call her later on today she uh, Everybody, I didn't want to bother her first thing in the morning because I know after a long weekend, it's really busy. But she called and she said they, um, they're they looking for more lap gans, which is wonderful. So I'll definitely be bringing there. And if I could make them some, she didn't. She doesn't know that I have uh, lap gans already made. But she says she has yarn there and would be willing to give it to me if I make lap gans for them. So that's fabulous news. I'm really looking forward to talking to her this afternoon and I'll let you know uh, how it goes on my whip weekend. So I'll be working on my squares and definitely have this done by the end of the month. I'm trying to find there. That's probably the best place to look at it. Very pleased how the square turned out. And I love trying and finding different squares every month for my book cover inspiration. So the book, once again, is Tuesday with Maury. And it's, um, I believe it's 25 years old because I uh, am reading the... Uh, the anniversary edition. So I would recommend it to anybody. It's just a wonderful book. Like I said, I would never have read it. If you like reading, uh, I recommend it highly. It's written really well and uh, makes you laugh, makes you cry. So uh, it's one of those good books. So uh, I hope you're enjoying making your uh, square blanket whatever you do for the book cover inspiration and look forward to receiving your pictures before the end of the month i'm not sure when it is i'll let you know closer to uh when i need the pictures by so thank you very much for watching and sharing and if you could check um i don't normally check but i've noticed that um a lot of accounts have been deleted from my subscription so if you can check to see because and the only reason I noticed it went from 13 down to like 12 something which is really weird like all of a sudden I lost like a dozen uh, subscribers so I'm not sure what's going on there so if you could check to make sure you're still subscribed and subscribe again if you're not I would really appreciate it and um, I think that's it for now so thank you very much for watching enjoy your book cover inspiration makes and I will see you at the end of the month for the reveals Bye for now.